¿Dónde es donde yo? <laughs> so, no, he can't, he won't be able to go. Maybe even now, if he wasn't this, this thing, he can't just go from that to be the, the, the coach and manager of Manchester United. It's great to be able to dream you can do things like that now. You're going to get getting somebody that's cold, freezing cold, and coming from Russia. <laughs> Not somebody that likes to go south. Uh, really warm. Somebody likes the cold, cold in Manchester. Wes, Wes, can you add anything to that at all? Because I certainly do. <laughs> right, we have another question, Darren. Yeah, we have one from the middle, at the back here. Thank you. Hello, Brian and Wes. Delighted to see us here. I'm a United supporter from late 70s, long say how old I am. But uh, I'm just wondering, do you think the passion has gone out of the team? Like there's no, they don't want to die for the short the way they used to when you were playing. I think, I think at times like this, passion is the bit you want to see. You know, you could be giving the ball away, making mistakes. But ultimately, as a fan, I'm a fan as well. I want to see people running when they lose the ball, running back, uh, tackling. Heading the ball, defending properly. You know, I don't want to say fannying about the back, let's get the ball out. You know, what I mean? we're not playing well, let's get it out and get up and, and start from there. So ultimately, I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to see more passion because that's the bit we need at this time when we're having a, a, you know, a tough time. And, and you have to do it as a team, you can't just do it as individuals. I mean, Chucky mentioned about Donny. I mean, if you can notice one person doing it, that means no one else is. And that's the problem, you see. Brian, do you want to add to that? I, I think it's just part of uh, you getting older and watching football, whatever it is. Things were better then, things were better than the 70s, things were better than the 80s, things were better than the 90s. So I think same things that gets a bit um, muddied by exactly what we were looking at. Um, but, I mentioned it before, you just want to see, not so much me, but lots of people I know just want to see Manchester United players, and I'm sure it's the same for all teams, looking as if they're working as hard as they work. You know, the people that have got jobs, they're working hard to get the money to either go to the games or to pay for platforms to watch the games. They just want to see players who they look as if they are, they might be shy, right? Sometimes it is, but at least to look as if they're doing it, working as hard as they want them to see them working, because that's what they want to see. They want to see a reflection of what it's like in their lives, and clearly we're not seeing we're not seeing enough of that in Manchester United players, Manchester United teams, and that comes from the, the leader of the team. That's got to be come from them. He's got to instill that, drill them, make sure that they do that. Alex Ferguson used to say that the only thing you're in control of is effort. That's the only thing you can do. Go out there, run your balls off as long as you possibly can. And if you can't do it anymore, crawl off the pitch, we'll put somebody else on. And there's a hell of a lot more substitutes now than there used to be when I was playing. So they would get a lot more opportunity to do that. And he'd say that quite often with the graft. You know, and that's it. What, what Brian and Wes have said then is so, resonates so much with me because after the City game, a City fan said to me, when United were so much better than City under both your teams you played, the Derby games were never that far apart, apart from one 5 nil game, because City players, they weren't as good as the other Brian has said, but they put an effort in, they put a shift in. So when we could probably, on paper, Beat City 5 6 0. It was 2 1. It was 3 2. Because those City players had a bit of pride about them. And that's what's quite sad. Darren, any more? Yeah, yeah. At the back again, so another question. question.